Yesterday was an absolute disaster. We went out to the burnt biome and tried a tier 2 infestation for Trader Gen at our best moments. <laughs> More like our worst moments because there were four rads inside and uh, we had a very near death experience. Luckily, Trader Gen was in the neighborhood and she swooped in to bail us out. However, I, I'm in tremendous medical debt right now. This is the United States after all, and even in the post-apocalypse, you cannot escape your medical expenses, and so we're out of money. I had to give all of my money to Trader Gen to, to rescue us and to patch us all back up. So I've collected up all of my sellables here, and I'm crafting the last of the cobblestone cube shapes. We should have close to a thousand, I think. And I have also packed up everything that we're going to need to move out to the snow biome. So that is going to be the task for today. We're going to sell off, make some money, and then we're going to haul all of our crap to the north. Except for the workbench, because apparently my land claim block that I set out in the field over there, it was enough to pick up the cement mixer, but not enough to pick up this. And I can't move it any closer because of Rekt's claimed property. So that is unfortunate. The workbench will have to live here. This will just be like a little forward operating base that we can leave here anyway. So let's do sugar butt candy for the bartering plus 10%, followed by grandpa's awesome sauce. And I just remembered we have to have the cigar as well. And that is in the mining helmet. It's okay, we got a few minutes to do this. Wait, I've already also, yes, the nerd goggles. No, we want to wear the nerd goggles. That has my other cigar. We have two cigars right now. So put that on. We'll get plus 10% from that, and we'll get, I think it was plus 8% XP out of this. Oh, for goodness sake, just ride the motorcycle in here. All right, we lost about 7,800 to Jen. Let's see how much we can make back. We are now up to 13,500, and with all of our bartering bonuses, didn't he have a crucible? <laughs> yes, please, I'll take that. I thought the traders were not supposed to hold your hand anymore, anyway. Uh, what else do you have here? Some duct tape? 780? I mean, we're gonna be broke, but we gotta get everything we can before we make this big journey. Couple extra armor parts there, 1800 to go, 200 extra cobblestone for 39 dukes, no brainer. I'll, yeah, I'll even take that cement, I guess. And let's go ahead and get a, let's get this tarp, I guess. We don't have a tarp, we have one gatherer. Yeah, let's get the tarp, why not? I, I wanna try that out anyway. Be and that'll just about there. have to do it. I'll take this Rockbusters. And then we're broke. We have 152 dukes now, but we have a crucible. Okay, let's do one final pack up here to get everything together. This is just random stuff that I'm bringing with me. More random stuff over here. We're gonna have to make new dew collectors. These cannot be picked up. Campfire can stay here. I'll bring the logs with me for, for fueling them up later on. And are we pretty much ready to go? Yeah, oh, we need all that stuff. Uh-oh, we have to leave a lot of this stuff behind here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna have to do it. This stuff will stay here. There's a lot left in the storages here as well. I'll have to swing back through here someday when we get, um, like a motorcycle maybe, or something that just moves a little bit more quickly. All right, let's refuel. 75% gas will probably need to do some wrenching along the way, which is going to be very inconvenient to do with one open inventory slot. But this is it, the great trip to the north to find our new base location. Man, this is exciting. We got to find a Trader Hue up there in the snow biome somewhere and then set up shop just outside. And after the misery that we've endured in the burnt biome, I can imagine it's only worse up there in the snow. This is it, man. This is our new home. And Trader Hugh is our new best friend, for better and for worse. 
Let's get in the vending machine so far. Well, like, I don't have any money, so it doesn't really matter. But I, I do want to check his inventory and just see what he has at least. And then and then we'll get some storages set up and start building a little bit of a camp here. Oh, yeah, and we'll get a job from him. We could do, yeah, because we got to get a, a lay of the land here a little bit. Fetch to the north, sounds easy you enough. Like at Fire Station 8, nice. Agility mod. Oh, that would be something to go for, but day 13 we'd have until basically the end of the day today, so that's probably not going to happen. Well, we can loot the compound another time. For now, we do need to get something in place so that we can, like, survive for the night, so let's just get out here. I, I heard a cat fighting something. Or someone. I think it was on the other side there. But yeah, we have a lot of wildlife to contend with here. Bear, mountain lion. Speaking of, there's a mountain lion right there. Okay, let's get down. Do I have the wood? I do. Let's just get down some storages so that I can lighten the load a little bit here. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is a huge open lot right across the street from Rex. So instead of, yeah, okay. Well, actually, we could make a little camp here. Uh, not too close to the compound here. I've learned my lesson there. You can't pick anything up if it's too close. But yeah, this could be where we build the base. It's flat. It's open. It has a bit of a perimeter defense here. I mean, it has a perimeter. <laughs> I'm not sure how good that would be defensively. But yeah, just put these down. Um, yeah, on top of this so that it's on a stable foundation. I hate building stuff on top of snow. It's just very dangerous. Put all that stuff away, bring the mini bike over, and I think what I want to do first is just get myself like a defensive platform in case a bear comes by or mountain lion, something that can kind of withstand some attacks, and we can do that with the cobblestone shapes. We have 959 of those. What I'm thinking here, I, I kind of want to try something a little bit different. Let's just do a little column like this, and we'll do this, I think, what, three shapes tall? Like so. I kind of want to just see if this would work like so, so that I can stand on top of these scaffolding ladders and knife my way through or shoot or what have you. Kind of just like that. One more here. And then if things get too dicey or if zombies start jumping on top of the ladder, we'll have another layer to jump onto up here. And then eventually once we get the base, I'll just dig that down and, you know, get rid of it. But for now, let's just check and see how it works we'll pull this mountain lion and we'll get a campfire going also for warmth and dryness and cooking and everything else okay it it worked i did take one hit though okay so we'll have to be a little bit careful in how we manage this but there we go meat is back on the menu whoop <laughs> there's his uh sister over there there we go we'll bring this guy straight over he'll be eating good here soon also, whoop! <laughs> oh, careful now. I'm getting stuck on the ladder. Okay. Yeah, we've got some learning to do out here, that's for sure. Okay, this is a really tough one. Look how many arrows are stuck in his back. I was hoping I could do melee through here, which I... Technically, I can, okay? It's just... It takes some practice. Let's try a zombie over here as well. Oh! <laughs> speak of the devil and a wandering horde appears. Well... Be a good test, I guess. Maybe these are the zombies that were fighting cats on the back side of the compound there. You guys are doing the same thing that the cats are doing. They're also eating the cats. <laughs> Mo, you hungry bastard. All right, well, I suppose we'll have to do further refinement at nighttime. Oh, I'm still... Yeah, I'm still wearing the nerd hat. Let's um get my regular assassin hat back on so that we can have <laughs> some night vision. No, so we can have a helmet flashlight. All right. Well, we're going to have to basically build through the night, into the morning, through tomorrow. It's going to be a long process here. All right, let's get started here. Campfire, cooking grill, cooking pot. And I suppose we need to determine the center point. Okay, that's the center point. We're going to center the base up right here somewhere. I think we need to get these trees out of here for safety. All right, the lot is clear, and I have staked my claim to the region. Well, not yet. I think this is going to be the absolute center of the base right here. It's a bit of a symmetrical design, so let's just dig this down a little bit. And... Is this just all snow here? Because that could be an issue. 
Oh boy. Okay, maybe I just wasted a whole bunch of time here, because if this is just all snow... Oh, okay, so we have four meters of snow. Um... Is that... That's a bit of an issue. But the location is so good, I think I can work around that. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah, let's... We'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll be okay. I do have a land claim block right here. Just drop that in there. And on top of that, drop in a cobblestone cube. And that is going to be the center of what will be the parking area here on the bottom. Next up is just careful measurement of the foundation. The footprint, the bottom footprint for the base is going to be 9 by 13. And once I get that measured out, I will start digging that into the ground. Although, we're going to have to dig all the way down to the stone layer. <laughs> so that we're not building a big old base on top of some snow that could just <laughs> arbitrarily melt basically and collapse the base. Okay, and with that, I've dug down to the stone layer. We just need to replace everything we just dug out with regular cobblestone cube shapes. Now we gotta peel this off so we have a nice floor for the garage. Okay, and just like that, we have our 9x3 foundation. Just put some wood here in the on the bottom because it's not gonna be any kind of a load-bearing material. All the weight of the base will span... Well, it's a bit complicated. I do have it all drawn up. I'll show you the plants here. The green column that you see like extending up from the bottom that green outline is going to be the outermost stability column so maybe that'll make sense to the more nerdy base builder types but if not then just trust me this uh this architecture style is something that i've built with in the past it's kind of a brutalism i guess is what i would say it is if i had to describe it got a little bit of company here overall it's been a pretty quiet night though although there's a dire wolf in the field over there so <laughs> we're gonna have to contend with that at some point hello buddy Get a couple bleeds on this guy, yank my arrows out. We're all out of iron arrows, so that's kind of not good. But man, we are going to be stacked on meat. I think I even sold a couple of stacks of meat back there earlier. But look, we're we're already just, we have two full stacks. They, they actually sell for like almost 600 dukes, but with all the, the bartering bonuses that I had, I was probably pulling more like 750. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of a break here from building. And I'm going to see if I can get like a forge made and... You know, just get prepared for the industry stuff. I'm not going to set anything down, though, until I get the base built. And I don't want to build the base until morning when we have good daylight. Okay, it's just about morning. I've just been exploring around, getting some bird nests, chopping trees, and I found a couple of local mining deposits. So I got a little bit of nitrate and some iron. There we go. It's officially morning now. Just take that guy out. But now I think we are ready to... Welcome to Trader Hughes. We have the best weapons in Navis. Speaking of weapons, we've got to get a gun while we're out here. Like, pre preferably a magnum, or... I'd settle for a pistol. First things first, though, we got to build this base. So, I'm not sure if we're going to fight the Day 14 Horde here. It all depends on how far we can get today and into tomorrow. Okay, so these corners right here, the ones that I'm kind of digging in, these are actually... That column is going to be the, the outermost load-bearing column. So I need to dig these down and do some fancy business with the shapes here. It's going to be a lot of wedge 60s in this base. This is going to be... We'll probably just end up calling this the 60 base. Just like that. So that column right there is technically going to extend all the way up into the base. And everything's going to be kind of hinging off of these pieces right here. But not to worry. They will be mostly covered up and mostly well defended. And I think it'll be fine. I'm planning for... All contingencies. But we got to do that times four now. I think this is what we want. We want to just reverse it. Because technically, you know, that's that's a load-bearing configuration right there. So if we just went like this. And then we'll just copy rotation on this one. Like that. You know, that's technically a stable column right there. And then that will have to go 14 blocks high. But of course, I don't have my dukes anymore. So I can't go 14 blocks high without breaking something. So... <laughs> Is going to be a bit of a process here. We got to get a nerd pole and then we got to start extending up. 14, 13, 14. So this here is the top of the base. Like that's where the gyrocopter landing pad is going to be. Right at the top. All right, let's get down before someone swings by here and knocks out my pillar. Speaking of a horde or zombies knocking out pillars, we've got to take care of business here. These guys cannot be allowed to just linger around here. Hello? You guys want to just come this way? There is a biker. I don't see any ferals, though, do you? Looks like a bunch of regulars. Oh, 
Tell you what, man, I'm feeling this heavy armor. I'm wearing the minor set right now, and it sucks. Tell you what, though, it does keep you safe a lot better. I took three or four hits, including a couple from the bikers, and I'm still sitting pretty on 90-something hit points. Nice chunk of food there, and some 762 as well. Yeah, the loot's gonna be noticeably better out here. But also, the POIs are probably gonna be noticeably more dangerous. Alright, back to work here. Let's run these columns up. You starting to get a sense now for why we needed like a thousand cobblestone shapes to get started here? This is gonna be a lot of resources to build this place, and we're gonna do it all without points into strength. Okay, let's make this at least look a little bit more stable. We're gonna run eight cubes up. It's actually gonna be a lot more than eight, but we'll start off with eight. Followed by seven on the innermost column here. Yeah, I'm making mistakes already. Fortunately, cobblestone is not too difficult to take apart. And we're basically going to link these sides up, leaving a space of three in the middle. And just for the sake of it, this is where a catwalk railing is going to go. So I'll just slap that in there right now. Why not? Just kind of get it over with. Crap! Making mistakes again. Okay, we are the vanguard out here in the snow biome, and so the overall aesthetic of the base, in addition to just being a brutalism architecture style, is going to be in the form of a V. And we're not only going to be using Wedge 60s to achieve the look that we want, but also we're going to be using some special trim pieces so that when we paint it, it'll look even better. We've got to start doing that at the beginning too, because if we wait, we'll have to do a bunch of demo work and it'll just be really inconvenient, so... Finally, I've always wanted to do a base like this where I plan ahead and I use these trim blocks to their full potential. Okay, so far so good. So I think we're ready to probably put the floor in for the crafting area and then we can start getting some workstations down and such. Uh, you can kind of see, I think now, see how this 60 degree angle is going straight through some of those full cube shapes and so we had to use those special trim pieces and we'll have to continue doing that all the way up. In fact, I think some of these uh, column pieces will have to be knocked out in, in lieu of a trim piece. And then same thing here, we'll use the 60 degree angles to go out to a point and then we'll use 45 degree angle blocks from there to go all the way out as far as structural stability will allow. Okay, time for a bit of a campfire break though. Meat stew! And I do believe I have the capacity to make a couple more of those. Just get the vegetables and stuff. And I need the animal fat. And a couple more meat stews coming right up. Alright, let's start working on the crafting area. We need one more layer of cobblestone. And then I'm going to transition over to wood. I'm going to try to use wood as much as possible. Because I'm actually going through the cobblestone as uh, a lot more quickly than I thought I was going to. So... I did craft up some wood shapes with all the trees that we knocked down. And for goodness sake, be careful on the ankles, okay? I don't- I do not need a broken leg doing all of this. One of the features of the base that I'm really excited about is... having some really high ceilings. Like, I usually go about four, maybe five blocks tall for like my- my living quarter space. This one's gonna be like, I don't know, eight or nine blocks tall, so it should be really fun to just kinda decorate and we'll have all kinds of wall space to put posters up and such oh interesting we're getting an airdrop out here that definitely is something we should take a break and go check out soon okay i've decided that what we need here is just some basic scaffolding to continue doing our work around here both for safety purposes and so that i can get a good look at things because i made a couple of mistakes we're gonna have to knock some blocks out and use those trim pieces like we were talking about Okay, it's been a tremendous time investment, but we're just about finished with the corrections here. I think that was the last piece, so... If we get a good angle on this, you can see a nice 60 degree line going straight up where we can paint the V in one color and then just the general color of the base on the other side. Okay, great success, but we have a ton more work to do, man. I'm not I'm not sure about Horde Night tomorrow night. We have, you know, roughly 24 hours to get this all put together. Fortunately, we can do most of the interior work during the night. At least, um, yeah, we gotta work on structural stuff. The, the main components, the main columns, and the main form of the base now. To that end, the side that's facing Trader Hugh is going to be the Horde fighting side. We'll have two fighting positions, and both of them will be on this half of the base. Right now what I'm doing is I'm putting in some cube corner bevel shapes, and then I'm going to put a regular cube shape on the top. Let's just do another row straight across on top of this, because on this row, 
I suppose we can just do that right now out of the wood shapes. We want plate bracket centered shapes to go just like this. And then my storage boxes are going to go right on top, 11 of them. For now, I need to kind of repeat that process on the backside, but also I gotta be kind of careful because there's something special that I wanna do on the back half. I wanna make like a greenhouse that kind of hangs off the back end of the base. I think roughly like that right there. And then I think, I think what I need to do here is just inlay a staircase, kind of like so. We'll just do it out of like regular shapes temporarily until I sort it all out. And then kind of the same concept on the sides here where there's going to be a three wide staircase, which is going to lead up to like a two wide area on the left here where I'll put the dew collectors and a two wide area on the right where we'll be fighting the horde. And I think we can just kind of solidify this stuff. Okay, but that leaves me with nothing to connect the rest of it to. So I suppose the project now is going to be the most difficult of all. And that is bringing up the wings of the V as far as we can. And um, also putting a ceiling on this place. At least framing the ceiling out. The ceiling is mostly going to be windows because I want to let natural light in as much as possible. Yeah, I think we need to get um, a nice solid just cube rooftop frame that goes all the way around and we'll kind of build everything else off of that there we go okay that's coming out pretty good and i think i'll do a layer of half shapes on the the interior here and then we'll leave the rest open for the window shapes that i'll put on later okay there it is and we are getting pretty dangerously low well, 337 left it's not too bad i need to start building more out of the wood i think for the less important parts of the structure although <laughs> Pretty much everything we've done so far has been an important part of the structure. Can I get down here safely? Yeah, okay. So the next phase, yeah, we're gonna bring the wings off as far as possible. Man, that is gonna be a huge project. It's looking good though, so far. Here we go, just 60 tip, 60 tip, 60, 60. Things are moving pretty quickly here on the other side now that I've got the hang of it. Getting into a bit of a rhythm here, you know? Oh yeah, let's start off, let's go get that airdrop. We'll see what's inside that, and then I'll kind of head back here and work on base tidiness thereafter. Here we go. Ooh, look, a stag. Get him! How did I possibly miss that? He doesn't even know where I am. <laughs> Got him. And in the supply box, ranged mods bundle, crafting skill magazine. Okay, we did get a laser sight and a silencer. That's pretty cool, especially since we're an assassin. And some honey. Painkillers. Nice. Okay. As I said, I'm gonna head back and do some base tidiness and I'll catch up with you guys at first light. And there we go, it is first light, it's morning, and have a look at the base, man, it's looking really good. I cannot wait to get this all dressed up. I mean, it's looking a little bit rough right now, but it's a work in progress, right? This is gonna take days, if not weeks, to fully finish. Trader Hugh is now open, but we have no business with him because we have no money and I'm really not prepared to do jobs. So yeah, we have to make the decision right now. Do we go home or do we commit to fighting the horde here? Because if we go home, we're going to have to wrench down a whole bunch of gasoline and that's going to be a bit of a process. I think I'd like to try to fight the horde here. That is going to be a huge undertaking though. And I'm sitting on 151 cobblestone cubes with 107 wood cubes. We could always do some digging and get some more resources. But, um, yeah, let's see what we can do here anyway. We'll start on this side, the side that the Duke Collectors are not on. So, in essence, we're going to be using the same exact fighting position that we were just using at the other base. I just gotta figure out how to put it on here. I <laughs> it's a slightly different configuration here. Give me a few minutes. And with the V2 triangles, this seems just about right so yeah the zombies will kind of walk up right square in the middle they'll walk toward the base up a certain to a certain level and then they'll turn left or right to come up to our positions on the flanks i suppose there's only a couple of ways to do this we can build from the top down or from the bottom up i think just in terms of accuracy it'll be better if we build from the top down so we gotta get some scaffolding and <laughs> Oh, you know what? We're, we're gonna have to use some magnets, I think. Okay, let's let's get a magnet out. The pillar 0.5 meter plate. This is just just temporary, I think, to get things set up. We'll on face that right there. We'll take the door, connect it to the magnet. 
<laughs> challenge place door is complete. Are you kidding me? I haven't done any doors yet. Let's check those anyway and see how they're going. We've got uh, harvest some car parts, meet Hugh, meet Bob, cement mixer, place a door, land claim block. Oh my. Stone, iron, nitrate powder leveled up, first aid bandages, snow biome, and kill lots of zombies. That actually is going to be a 10,000 XP and ammo. So if I go talk to Hugh, we will get the reward for that. Kill some tourist zombies. You get some mods. Okay. Zombie vultures. There's all kinds of these. Lumberjacks. Yeah, we're not going to have any problems with that out here. By the way, I haven't seen very many zombies. I did see a wandering horde last night. I just let them run away. I just crouched down and used my sneaking to avoid them entirely. Yeah, I don't predict that we'll have stability problems because we're going to be... You know, technically, we're going to be connecting it to this wall here, this ramp that we're about to build. You can see how it's just incline, tip, upside down, tip, incline, tip, upside down, tip, and so on, all the way down the line. We just have to pay careful attention because as we build out this way, we're going to be losing some stability. So eventually, there will come a time where we need to connect this to the ground. And yes, you can see that that time has come. Interesting, it's green on this side, but it's it will collapse on this side. Okay, I guess we're going to do just temporary little thing to kind of prop it up there for now. Here they are. Plate Wedge 60 Right Hall. Sometimes the naming is just is off, <laughs> if you ask me. Anyway, so, yeah, we want to line this up. So, you know, I went to the Working Stiff Tools and I got some strip magnets. We don't have to use the round, the round magnets anymore. So I think if we just did a system like this, is that like perfectly lined up there i think that is so you know what it just kind of looks like there's there's something well there is something connecting it to the side of the base and it doesn't look as bad as say that does yep and then plate half plate half and another one and then we'll run the same thing up on the other side i'm not going to fight on that side tonight we don't have the resources to kind of build out that much anyway but this is pretty much the look and that is not looking too bad i i don't think we're gonna have a solution to birds tonight uh the machine gun is the solution just <laughs> shoot them shoot them kill them get rid of them but yeah this is probably gonna work we've gotta we gotta get some sort of a ramp system a way for the zombies to get up and we're all done uh let's yeah start out here with the upgrades you always want to work from stability outward when you're upgrading frames because by upgrading them you're increasing the weight ah oh, what did i say man upgrade from stability out oh crap okay we're back in business now i should should nope nope i cannot great here we go again Let's just bust that piece off there and put in a regular 60 and then I can take up this support column and that kind of flushes up in there. That is not the permanent solution. I will have to draw something up that functions as well but looks better. That there will have to do for tonight though. Oh, maybe this was the issue right here. Yeah, this is supposed to be cobblestone because then then half of the ramp is borrowing stability off of the this little line right here. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm getting... It's getting tense now. It's its almost 1,500. So yeah, we got like six or eight hours to go before the horde. Not feeling very confident about this one. Game stage 100. We're going to be getting tons of ferals in the horde, at least. Yeah, not good. Not a good idea to stay out here. Yeah, okay. Well, we got a backup base here if we need it. The new priority then is as much concrete mix as possible, which is not going to be much because I didn't bring my sand with me, but yeah, I'll do the best I can. Let's make up 142 there, make up 1500 crushed sand, and hopefully we can get the rest of this cement converted before the end of the day. Yeah, because up here, okay, this is going to be where the zombies are standing ideally we want something to kind of push their heads down a little bit right because we don't want them to stack up too high i think that's gonna be good right there let's do one two three another one here maybe this is all very much just kind of temporary stuff to get us rolling here for the first horde night Copy that. 
And then I think if we upgrade this to cobble, that'll keep the zombies kind of, you know, smushed down. What about concrete? Let's see. Yeah, let's do this here just in case, you know, cops explode pretty much. Start doing concrete for the ceiling. Get the floor done up a little bit. And that's it for now. On the back side here, I'm just going to put in a very temporary railing to prevent me from going flying off the side. Should be able to get this up to an iron hatch. And let's get another one of those to put on the top here to, to flip down and then get this upgraded to the iron door. So this is it right here. This is the position. They shouldn't be able to stack up too much. In fact, we have a couple of extra block planes that we can play with here. Yeah, these two. We need to put something in these spaces here to give us some, like, added defense. How about we start with a pole kind of right here? And that will um, push the zombies out even further, kind of back this way, so that they can hopefully fall down a little bit more often. So try that. And then since we need to be able to work through these railings in order to open and close the door if necessary let's just use a simple railing here just like this and i guess we'll just see how that works tonight i mean i don't know man it's the best i can do right now yep give me some of that mix there <laughs> craft concrete mix is complete thank you very much here get these upgraded to concrete as well and that way we have a little bit of a buffer if, if they start breaking those blocks there you know, we'll know that we need to pay more attention. Okay, there's the opposite hatch. I think this should, it, you know, in theory, it's going to work pretty well, I think. Especially, you can see, if that was a, a an automated vault door on a switch, we could just have a switch right here and be like, okay, things are getting hot here. Switch that down, run through the base onto the other side, and then hit the switch and spin them up on this side. Oh, yes, we're rolling on the murky water, too. Very nice. This one here has both of the mods, tarp and gatherer. Start boiling that water over here now. This here is going to be like a refrigerator. There are some special storages, and they're called... I always forget the name of them. A steel wall cabinet, this one right here. So I'm thinking like food and water. So we'll have like a refrigerator right here, basically, with two storages. And then a campfire kind of hanging off the side of it. I'm gonna put some of these pipes in here where like the tops of the like the fumes would be coming out of the forge to kind of like exhaust them out of the base and there's my hundred nails which should be good for a new workbench just having to think about it um i'm gonna actually wear a full set of heavy armor tonight we're gonna need yeah the nerd ha headset for the xp bonus the minor outfit the minor gloves that's all heavy armor and i will get the armor mods and the bandolier off of my old armor and swap that over just so that we have extra protection for tonight. It might not be the greatest look I've ever sported, but it'll have to do. I have 40 steel and we have the crucible and I've been smelting stuff in here all day. What can we do for forged steel anyway? 62. Sure, start rolling on that. And for the sake of safety, this back piece right here, the fail safe block will be steel as well as that one. Yeah, see, I just want to keep it really conservative because that's that's half the steel right there. We'll save the rest for repairs. We're rolling on some more. Okay, that I feel a lot better now that I have that. We will have enough skull crushers to hopefully last the night. We have first aid, food. I'll be drinking coffee. And so we'll have plenty of stamina. We've got some Molotovs. We just got to watch out for the birds, man. There's just, is there nothing I can do about the birds? Uh, you know what I could do? Hopefully this doesn't cause any major issues could we just what are we doing for the rooftop anyway we're gonna do half shapes half cube half here we go uh advanced rotate just maybe i could make a, a slight little canopy for myself that that kind of helps okay at least i get s maybe some semblance of a warning before the zombie vultures swoop down on me We'll just go one further. Yeah, you gotta love these last minute preparations here. Bring that down, take that up, slide that in there. Okay, so everything is kind of done up now the way it's going to be long term. <sighs> okay, it's getting tense now. The heart rate is rising. We have two hours to go. The workbench is ready. Let's slap that down and wouldn't hurt either would it to get a pipe machine gun 
five glue. Did I have any glue left? I do. We could also do... Well, we could do a pipe pistol if we really finagled things here. Come on, come on. The thunder is giving me wicked anxiety. There we go. Pipe pistol craft. That'll be level five. I'll put a laser sight mod onto it. Do a burst mod onto the pipe machine gun. Trader Wrecked is... Or Trader Hugh, sorry. We're in a whole new neighborhood now. Trader Hugh is closed. Here we go. Let's get some light going. Torch. Torch. Just torches everywhere, I guess. <laughs> There we go. That's gonna have to do it. And now, my friends, we lock and load because the horde is almost upon us. Here we go, guys. It has begun. Skull crushers in, coffee in, and let's get to work here. The zombies are pathing up just fine. No problems there. And I don't see any rads, so <laughs> that is good news. We do, however, have some ferals and we have some crawlers, and I've already suffered my first abrasion. Oh my goodness. Okay, they do stack up here quite a bit, don't they? This is just the name of the game then. Stab. Stab all night long and then occasionally pull back Molotov and get the pipe pistol out. Oh yeah, this is going to be a long, arduous fight here. We got to stay on top of repairs too. Do not let me forget that. All right, let's get back in here. Use the skull crushers to our advantage. Get some bleed attacks in. Oop. Jeez, I'm taking some damage. The armor is not particularly helpful. I think... I think we're doing okay, though. Whoops. That block right there is not doing okay. Okay, let's just take a second here. Fix that up. And then I gotta double check and see how that railing is doing. Not very well. Man, we need a nail gun ASAP if we're gonna be living out here fighting hordes like this, don't we? Oh, boy. The good news is... Haven't seen any birds. Haven't seen any cops. Haven't seen any spiders or dogs. Those are all good things. Got to look at the glass half full from time to time. Although, whoop, we're losing blocks. We've lost the front bumper piece. That means we are relying solely on some of these steel plates to hold back the horde. Okay, they're starting to cluster up here a little bit too much for my liking. Get a Molotov onto them. Get the pipe pistol back out and reload. I'm leveling up some already. And this steel up front here seems to be holding up a lot better. Maybe that bumper piece that we put out there was not such a good idea because sometimes you know the nail that sticks out too far is the one that is first struck and uh, that one was just getting struck first I think by these zombies by the way how is that stuff looking that stuff's looking pretty good I got some forged iron for repairs there I don't like these guys kind of ducking down though maybe I'll um we'll have to play around with these rooftop the ceiling blocks here see if we can find something better that doesn't force the crouch like that I hate that Look at the mass of them, though. The mass, they keep pushing each other off, which gives us a time to put some bleeds onto them, and they can probably bleed out to some degree as they cycle their way back around. The only question really is rage mode. Are the zombies entering rage mode? We had a good base design to prevent that before, and we're going to get there on this one, too. But um, I don't know about tonight, man. Yeah, you can kind of see there where they're all falling down. I'll toss another Molotov here so we can get a, you know, brighten them up a little bit so we can see them a little bit better. Yeah, they're definitely falling down. It doesn't look like they're really targeting the base once they fall down there. I think we're high enough for that. But the question is, is it taking them long enough to cycle back up here? Because remember, there's that timer. Another repair check here. We almost lost one of the ceiling blocks there. This is looking a little bit rough. How are the steel blocks looking? The steel is looking okay. Oh boy, not this one. Not this one, and I can't seem to get a bead on it. Can I get a bead on the door? There we go. Just drop them off there for just a second while I get this fixed up. Bring them on over. We're doing fine. It's midnight. Okay, we just got to hold strong like this. This horde here is probably going to cost me every single Molotov I have, but once we get through this, we can start cranking out some jobs for Hugh. And maybe he'll give us some more weapons and stuff to use as quest rewards. Hugh is the weapon guy, I think, so... You know, he's not going to give us one for a quest reward, but... You know, we'll check his inventory, we'll do the jobs. Hopefully our loot stage bonus out here will net us a nice weapon here very soon. Oh, we're getting cops here now! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, probably not the weapon to be using. You know, bow and arrow. Okay, he is going to blow. Yep, I, I triggered him. I think he's going to explode somewhere. I heard the explosion. That is not good. I don't know. Things are looking okay here, though. Let's just focus on the thing in front of me, and that is... Oh, jeez. They are spitting a lot. Look out. Gross. Oh, my God. It's just not nothing but ferals here. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, we've lost one of the railing pieces in the front there. We need to 
ASAP. Close that door down and see if I can get some stat repairs going on here. Uh, I don't even know what shape to use. Uh, bars corner. No, we can't use bars corner. We have to use railing corner. Uh, railing corner. Why do you go into advanced rotation automatically now? That's stupid. And yes, upgrade that to concrete. Okay, we're back in business. Just get that door back up if I can. Can I sneak my hand through there? I can. Get this upgraded to steel and we're going to run back here as fast as I can, which is honestly not fast because of my heavy armor and grab the rest of the steel get a fresh molotov on those guys yeah i think we just gotta we gotta burn through the 762 now oh sorry hugh i think a stray bullet went and hit hugh's compound yeah i hear lots of cops exploding oh we do not like that would you stop trespassing please holy crap took a whole mag to kill that guy he is kind of bulletproof but oh boy why y'all running that way now Oh no, no, something's happened. And they want to beat into the side of the base now. Why are you guys doing this? Whoops. Oh, I fell through into the bottom of the base. Oh boy. Panic attack, panic attack. Um, why? Why are you guys doing that? Here, open this up and... Whoops. No. Ow. I don't know what's wrong with these guys, but they appear to have figured it out themselves. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we're going to need just like a first aid kit going, please. Is there anything else I can do, man? We still have skull crushers. Just hold on tight, man. That's all we can do. We're past the halfway point. In fact, we're almost onto the final wave. If we're lucky here, this last wave will not contain any cops. Okay, quick repair break. Um, it, it's nice. I don't think the zombies can squish in here. I think the V2 plate is was a really good selection for this piece right here. Oh, jeez, but they, they keep hitting the ceiling piece right there, too. All right. Juice him up with some fire again. Ooh, I, I'm, not, I'm really not liking how some of my stray bullets, like, make that ding sound. That's pretty annoying. Can I repair this? Good. Let's get back in here. I'm all topped off on health. We've still got the skull crushers. We could probably use another coffee here. And I'll just take a vitamin to prevent an infection. Because at this point, I think we're going to be taking a bit of a beating here. Oh, we still do apparently have some cops here. We've lost this piece. Repair that. Thank you very much. And, oh, geez. It's real rough here. It's hard to keep up with the repairs. We are going to need some traps here ASAP. Some blade traps and stuff to help supplement our ability. I'm not feeling like my DPS is high enough. Ooh, now we got feral cops. Oh, boy. It's unholy dragon. Okay. They can squish in here to some degree. Oh, no. Get back. Holy crap, man. I got to reload. And just... Hopefully we can kill him. I got him. First aid kit. Oh my god, 25 hit points. He's not even dead. There, we got him. That is super dangerous, man. Okay. If I've learned one thing, it's that we've got some work to do around here. Keep using the fire. This is the best tool that we have at our disposal right now. There's, there's, oh my god. <laughs> Take a break, guys. Take a break. We're, we're closed. Drop down for just a second there. Thank you. Thank you. Drop that back in. Oh my god up to steel. There we go. Okay, so It's not the worst base I've ever fought in but it ain't the best either. Oh, we do have birds here now I don't know where he is. There he is. Oh that worked out perfectly. Nice. We're losing pieces up here. Oh boy. Ten minutes remaining I'm just basically doing repairs now and then once they stop spawning in I will start killing them off at that point. And 4 a.m. The horde is over. We survived. The base is still standing. I hope. I haven't really investigated down below yet. Trader Hugh is open, I've heard. So, yep, now we just got the long cleanup process, man. I think, I think we did it. We've got a lot of work to do for the next one. And I kind of regret moving out here. It's quite a jump here from day 7 to day 14, but... We're here now. We got to make the best of it. Hopefully we'll get some loot to help balance out the expenditure of the Horde Knight. I would very much appreciate it if you guys could get the heck out of here, man. There we go. Five skill points to spend. Would you look at that? Oh, maybe these guys were doing all the damage. I even have quite a bit of ammo left over. It's not too bad. I, I hear snow breaking, though. Is there somebody stuck underground here somewhere? Oh, man, not this again with people getting stuck underground. This drives me nuts. Here we go. 
What happened? Here he is. Can you not, please? Great, now I gotta get that. Well, we gotta build the trench anyway, so... It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal either. All right, let's get these loot bags. Yeah, overall, I was hoping for better. I got one piece of armor, but it was like a level one piece of armor. And whoops, one more over here. One more chance. Nope, cast and some coffee. Okay, well, not bad. It is still pretty early. It's, you know, day, day 15 now. So we'll hope for the loot bags to get better as time goes by. All right, my friends, we did it. We built a whole new base out here. Lots of work yet to be done, but we did fight the horde successfully. We got a little bit of loot. Now all we have to do is start questing and start the grind for Trader Hugh, see if we can get some better gear and get this base upgraded to a better form for the next horde. I'm gonna definitely need you there to watch my back, but for now I gotta get some rest and get organized and I'll see you guys a little bit later on this morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.